So with all this talk about Counter-Strike 2 and early launch or whatever, let's talk about my mistake, my problem, my issue. The thing that I had to come to grips with that as somebody who ran a company, I made a giant miscalculation. So we launched my game, The Anacrusis. It's available if you click through my link on my bio, you can go right to it, buy it on Steam. I would appreciate that. Uh, leave a nice review or just wish list it. Uh, but we knew we were going to launch rough and we wanted to launch rough to get feedback from the community. And in my head, I'm like, oh, this is like Rainbow Six Siege. I would call it the Rainbow Six Siege launch, where it's super rough, it's super crazy bad at first at launch. And then over time, you just keep updating it and updating it, updating it. And then people wake up and they're like, oh my God, this was bad at launch. This is a, such a fun game. This is so good. Okay. You can do that with Rainbow Six, Six Siege. You can do that with Counter-Strike. You can't do that with a small indie game no one cares about or has heard of. That's the truth. Right? My miscalculation was that people would care that it got better. Our game has had, I think, 50 updates. Uh, near 50. 49? 48? A lot. Right? We listened to the community. We fixed the things that were bothering people. We added things they didn't even know they wanted until they got it and they liked it and wanted it. Right? We went from uh, negative reviews on Steam to now very positive reviews on Steam. Right? Like, we won the battle. We, we fixed it. It's a great game now. I love our game. I can play Versus every single night. Um, it's just so much fun. I just play a lot of co-op stuff. There's a lot of community maps. I play some community maps this weekend. It's in a great space. I love our game. It is a really good game. I can't say that about the game we launched with. But here's the thing. No one cares. Because everyone's already made a decision way back when and dismissed it. So they just don't care. There's not a big group of people like sitting outside of Rainbow Six Siege or Counter-Strike going, oh man, I can't wait till this is good. I love this game. Oh man, they better fix it, right? There's none of that. Nobody heard of my game. Nobody cares about my game. All they've heard is, oh my God, IGN gave it a five out of 10. That's it. That's it. We can't get over that hurdle. I've had somebody, I said in the other video, somebody who was really mad and stalking me and yelling at me because I quit Valve. I'm like, what? Um, and they were like throwing out a review from week one. Yeah, yeah, it was a crap game then. I mean, it had the core of what we needed to get started and get feedback. And like to anybody who's given feedback to, to my game, uh, you don't know how much that means to me, that you stuck with something that had problems and gave me feedback that helped us make it better, that you took time out of your life to help me make something better that I love um, and grow and to where we're at the point where uh, we're a good game, right? Like, that just means the world to me. But that's not everybody. And that getting that word out now and getting over that hurdle, that first reaction, is feels damn near impossible some days, right? I mean, if you want to know, like, depressing indie dev CEO guy, um, that's when I get it, right? Um, because it's somebody who hasn't played the game recently who's going to be just mad at something, right? Because we see this in the Counter-Strike, right? This is people who are just mad. And they'll come in or whatever. And yeah, that bums me out, man. I'll admit to it. Because this is something I care about. This is something I worked a lot on. Um, so, yeah, this whole thing, Counter-Strike has an advantage that they can fix this and they will fix it. We didn't. We don't. Um, we did fix it. And we're going to launch in November 1.0. Hopefully people will revisit it at 1.0. We're trying to get the word out some more and doing some more things. I started this TikTok to talk about like kind of these struggles. And I often find out like when I start talking about these, people have good ideas, right? Like, again, I don't pretend to know everything. Uh, I try to talk about the things I do know about and ask questions about the things I don't. And yeah, this was a mistake, right? So this wasn't any evil greed thing. This wasn't any manipulation. This wasn't any stockholders. This wasn't any, I don't know, people always think there's some weird, things are really, like, world, the world is way more simpler than you think it is. <laughs> it really is. Um, and so, yeah, there, that's something I learned from this whole process that I did not know before, and I will take with me into the future. Um, yeah.